Hi, this is Kathy Koliakovo, and I'm going to take you through the steps to open up your own Twitter account. First thing, I usually recommend that clients open a Gmail account or some such other email account that you can use for your social networks that keeps any notifications or other emails coming in separate from your main inbox. For instance, I prefer to have my work email inbox not fill up or get any notifications from any of my social networking profiles. So that's why I always recommend a second email account. So to start up with a Twitter account, you would go to twitter.com. You'll come to their main page just like this one and you will hit sign up now. You always should put in your real first full name. The reason that I recommend doing this is that you can have your name will come up in online searches if you have your real name registered here. And that's how you tend to want to have people know you when you're setting up Twitter for your business. You want them to get to know you by your real name. So I would recommend you enter your proper name in this box. Then you want to pick a username. I always suggest picking a unique name, something that's going to easily identify you and something that makes sense for what you're going to use Twitter for. I personally opened mine up in my business name because my last name is very hard to spell. So that's something some people will look at. If you want to use your real name, go ahead and use it there. You only have 15 characters to do this in, so you have to keep it sort of short and sweet. That was another issue with my name. So what I'm going to use for us here today is just a number testing 1627. It's going to let me know that it's an OK username to use. No one else has it. If someone else does have the name you're looking for, you will have to pick something else. And sometimes what people will do to make it just a little bit more unique is put an underline button in the middle and uh, if your first name and your last name and that'll help you out. Then you have to pick a password and it will <laughs> try to pick one a little harder than I did. It will uh, register your password and then you also have to set up a an email account because they're going to send a confirmation for you to open your account but also this will be your email notification that Twitter will use for any or connections and contacts with you. So I'm just going to use a Gmail one that I have set up. You will click this button let others find me by my email address if you want to allow other people to search through their contacts if they see that your address is online or is connected to a Twitter or Facebook account, they'll use it for different networks, then people can find you and send a note, you know, hey, would, would you like to connect? That's what that little tick box is. If you want to keep your email private, don't tick it. The terms of service are all through here, which you should take a peek at, look at. It's pretty standard as are most. And then you hit the create the account button. This, I want the inside scoop. If that's ticked, then you'll be allowing Twitter to send you their email updates and their newsletter. So you're going to hit create my account. It's going to give you a check and a capture box. I'm not very good at getting these correct all the time. I guess my eyes are getting a little bit old. And then it's going to ask you for suggestions. Do you want to find other people? It will help you make some connections to start you off on Twitter. We're going to skip this part. This would be your email address. It's going to go into your email and find connections. So if you do want to use that as a method of finding your friends online, then I would not recommend using a separate email account. It'll ask you who you're searching for. If you want to find people that are connected to other people online already, you can do this as well. And these are really great tools for starting off and getting you some connections online so you have people to talk to online. Otherwise, once you set up your Twitter account, it will just be you. So the next step is to finish. You do have to do a confirmation. So I'm going back over here to Gmail. It's just letting me know that it wants to confirm that you're opening this account. So it's proving that you have access to that email account that you set up. So right now what we've done is we've set up the Twitter account. 
testing underscore 1627 is the username. We've not made any tweets yet. We do not have anyone following us. We're not following anybody and we're not listed anywhere. This is what you would call your home page. And generally once you're following people you'll have more listings of people that are on there and what they've been connected with. What you want to set up next, you'll have to change your profile. This is what your profile looks like when it's filled out complete, but you would go into the settings button to go in and you want to pick your correct time zone. If you want to add a location to your tweets, which is something that's um, really getting into popularity these days and usefulness as well, especially for local business. It allows um, a geotag or location tags to go along with your um, Twitter tweets. If you want to protect your tweets so only let them be seen by people you connect, you can click this button. I don't recommend it because it doesn't allow anyone just to click online and connect with you and if that's sort of the way that you're feeling a little anxious about doing that kind of stuff then I wouldn't recommend using Twitter at all because that's using Twitter with protected tweets isn't going to help you uh, get your online presence built up using Twitter. Once you want to make some changes you're going to have to enter your password just to verify that you've got this set up and you're the person who should be making these changes. Your profile button, we're still in the settings tab, this is where you can go in and add your picture. I do recommend adding a picture because it allows people to really connect with you a lot more online. I normally recommend using your actual photo, professional as you can get it, and unless unless you want to, if you're a big recognized franchise, then I would recommend a logo. But generally if you're going to be out here on Twitter, using Twitter and getting part of your personality online, this is where you would want to add your own personal picture. This is your real name. You want to put in your location as well. And I usually recommend city and state. You can put in your website. And that's a, an important spot to have there because people will look at your profile and they want to take a peek at your website to see what you're all about. Your bio, you have 160 characters to use in creating your bio. Whoops. And you want to use keywords as much as you can. Keywords are the words that people will use when they want to find someone online that's doing what you do for business. So if you're a dentist, you want to have the word dentist in here. If you're a printing company, you want to have the words printing company in here. Think about how people are trying to find you and your service online and use those types of keywords in your bio. You can also add bits and pieces about your personality that will help people get to know you to understand what you're all about but more important you really need to get the keywords in about what your business is and what you're here to do online and then you would click save in order to save the information on your profile now when we go back and click the profile tab you've got your bio over here your website is here your location as well as your name and that are the is the basics for setting up a Twitter account